and we are live here at the Mo Summit with David Rosenberg of Aeroparks, all made possible by Big Path Capital, the leading impact investment bank that assists in company exits, capital raises, and founder liquidity. David Rosenberg, what brings you and Aero Farms to the Mosum today? We consider ourselves at Aero Farms an impact mission-driven organization, and it's always inspiring being with other impact mission-driven leaders. It helps recharge the batteries every now and then and think about how others are looking at the world, looking at their organizations, bringing a level of, typically these organizations have really strong cultures, and learning from each other, sharing with each other, and really helping ignite the community, share our stories, and hopefully have bigger impact. So impact-driven organization. Tell our audience what that means to you. For me, that means how we not only serve our shareholders and profitability, but also environment, also society. So at Aero Farms, we fundamentally look at how we could impact agriculture, not just even within, as a vertical farming company, we, we're farmers, we're a technology company, we grow plants, we sell plants, but even beyond our plants, where are the challenges within agriculture? Where are the challenges within our ecosystem? And how are we uniquely situated to address those challenges, have bigger and bigger impact, and hire, bring people into our journey that see the world in a fierce way. Fierce is in we, urgency to have big impact, to change the world, urgency to come up with solutions. So whether it's growing a plant, using less water, using less energy, essentially doing more with less, having eliminating waste, getting increasing nutritional density, or enabling local food production so people have access to fresh food, or creating a plant that could be used in different ways for the benefit of society. How do we use our unique abilities to have bigger and bigger impact? And so you alluded to some of the problems that agriculture faces. How does Aero, what, sorry, first, what are these problems? And second, how is Aero Farms taking them on? So one example is 70% of the world's fresh water goes to agriculture. 70% of the world's fresh water, I'm sorry, water contamination comes from agriculture. So if one wants to solve water, one really needs to solve agriculture. At Aero Farms, with some varieties we grow, we could use as much as 95% less water. We have zero contamination because our nutrients, micronutrients, there's no pesticides, there's no over neutral uh, fertilizing soils that goes to river runoff. It's all these systems that are self contained and managed. We also, there's a tremendous amount of spoilage within our supply chain. So 60% of, of leafy greens that come off the farm spoil, they don't get consumed. So if 100 pounds, comes off a farm, only 40 pounds get eaten. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of spoilage. In local food production, we keep product in the supply chain longer and for the customer to eat it. Additionally, 11% of food contamination comes from leafy greens. E. coli, salmonella, listeria. Two months ago, there was a big E. coli recall, uh, recall from Romaine because of E. coli. Here, we think we operate the safest farm in the world. Not only are there no pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, but in fully controlled agriculture, we could really reduce the risk of contaminants coming into the farm. So you mentioned a vertical farm, you mentioned your own farm, and your type of agriculture. Explain to me, what does your farm look like? We grow without sun, without soil, and we consider vertical farming, it's layer upon layer of farming. So think of a warehouse, not a greenhouse, and in a warehouse that an average modern warehouse is about 40 feet high, we'll have 12 now going on to 14 levels of growing. Each level about three feet apart, there's a set of light. So instead of sun, we're delivering spectrum. Plants want spectrum. Instead of soil, they want nutrients and micronutrients. So we're delivering nutrients and micronutrients instead of soil using a cloth growth media. The name Aero Farms comes from aeroponics. We're misting nutrients and micronutrients to the root structure. Roots want oxygen, leaves want carbon dioxide, so by misting, we have a very healthy oxygenation of the roots. And then there are these long tunnels, imagine, with lights about a foot off the plant canopy. 
providing different spectrum at different intensities and different frequencies. With LEDs, light emitting diodes, we could really specify what optimizes photosynthesis and also what decreases energy usage. For example, the energy Huygens spectrum is typically yellow spectrum. Yellow spectrum is not such an efficient spectrum from a photosynthesis standpoint. mostly want red and blue, which are actually cooler spectrum. Fairly sophisticated ability to give the plant what it wants and fully consider. We're really a data science company where we look at all the different ways a plant, what it wants and how it wants it, when it wants it. Not too dissimilar if how a child would eat differently, sleep differently, exercise differently. You have a different healthy child or unhealthy child. The genetics are the same, but what its habits are, the nurture side, not the nature, the nurture side is very important. We focus on the nurture side of how a plant, as funny as it sounds, eats, sleeps, exercises to get a really healthy plant that's harvested at peak harvest so the flavors are fantastic and the freshness is there for the customer. And you mentioned data, you're collecting a lot of data on these plants. How do you measure your impact? So most of the data at the farm is the impact on the plants, like healthy plants, what's the nutritional density, what's the shelf life, what's the flavor, that sort of thing. We also are very socially minded. So we, our headquarters are in Newark, New Jersey, which has a tougher social economic demographic. Uh, we've hired over 30 past offenders in that farm. So people that there's a big problem in the US of recidivism, people coming out of jail and then going back in. We open our doors and say, hey, come to Aero Farms. And we really work to bring these people back into society, back into the working fold. We also help alleviate a food desert. Often in the US, there are big problems with people getting highly nutritional food, especially in poor neighborhoods. We open our doors and we sell to the local community as well as to the Whole Foods, ShopRites, other supermarkets, Fresh Direct if you're in the New York area. And then we also hire a tremendous amount of impact-oriented, mission-driven people. We get 1,700 resumes a month that want to work at Aero Farms, and we're choosing not just the best and the brightest, but people that are very focused on how to make the world better. And they're really leading us technologically to how we could improve our filtration system. So to take out algae, leave in more nutrients, micronutrients, to have a more energy efficient LED luminaire, to grow plants in less days. So in the last year, we developed a way to grow a plant from seed to harvest from 16 days to 14 days. That means we're essentially making the capital cost go further instead of having 22 crop turns a year, we'll have 25. So we're doing more with less and it's less energy, nutrients, evaporation, dehumidification, all to grow that plant. And so you, you, you talked about impact on spoilage, on uh, reduction of water, um, on just overall plant health uh, and the employees that you hire. But what has been the impact on David Rosenberg? Probably my kids. So I have three kids and just seeing their future, knowing the challenges we have. I'm an optimist mm -hmm. and I think technology is going to lead the way. And the questions they have and the pride they have in understanding some of the challenges we have in the world and the difference Aero Farms making and how they think about companies, products, materials they interact with. And it gives them, I think, a better balance about what's important in the world and what they want to be in the future they want to see. And how does someone like you get into this business? My last company was a nanotech company and I won an award from the World Economic Forum called Tech Pioneers, and that gave me a certain access to a, a group of people that have a lot of influence on the world. And one of the specific groups I was in was the Global Agenda Council of Water Security, and there I learned how much water goes to agriculture. And I also developed a relationship with a guy, Bill McNeil, who's the co-author of Cradle to Cradle, and he really inspired me to think big and as I was looking for my next journey professionally to 
how to, how to have a company that has a big social and environmental impact. And he, he illuminated the pains of agriculture and the opportunities in certain technologies. What's well, a major issue right now? I mean, with the world's population increasing and um, habitable areas decreasing, or I guess places to grow crops decreasing, yeah. How big of an, of an issue is it for you, and what is AeroFarms doing about it? You, you hit the nail on the head. So with population growth, with urbanization, the world's lost 30% of its arable land, of its farmland in the last 40 years. So the macro trends show a lot of challenge. So we've, we've grown 700 different varieties of plants. We've really, we're the leader in space, vertical farming, and we want to help push the industry it doesn't mean all food's going to be grown in vertical farms. But what we do is we represent how technology can really help provide solutions to these macro trends. So we're today growing leafy greens. Tomorrow we're going to grow more different crops and different crops. We're going to continue reducing the capital cost, the operating cost, the environmental footprint to have a more and more of a positive footprint and be able to feed more and more people, getting the cost down so it's not just the middle class, it's the lower class, and even the absolute poor. David, all of these things that you're talking about take a lot of leadership. How important is leadership in your industry? It's, it's important, certainly at Aero Farms, it's important for even our competitive set and here there's a lot of romanticism about what we're doing. Local food production, it sounds great. At the same time, back to an earlier point, about 11% of all contamination is leafy greens, for example. People have to be responsible, especially when it's food, when it's going to people and it could get them sick. We all have a responsibility and I constantly encourage other leaders in the industry as people try and go fast, go thoughtful and make sure that the processes, procedures, the design is in place to mitigate certain elements. For that reason, I co-founded a food safety coalition within farming, within indoor farming, and tried to encourage other leaders in the space, again, to be thoughtful. Certainly within Aero Farms, leadership's critical as the company grows. We're 130 people now in Aero Farms. There's only so much my message constantly is heard. So the next level of leaders also making sure they're mission driven. They understand and can help propel the right values and mission to the rest of the people, the other people that come into our journey and empower them with resources to be bold, see where the challenges are, see where the opportunities are and go fast. Empowering employees is definitely a common theme for people to have to answer that question. Uh, so I like that a lot. So by 2030, I just need to get something um, in the cabinet quick, there's sorry. 17 sustainable development goals. Um, so I want you to finish the, this sentence for me. Um, by 2030, Aero Farms will... Aero Farms will impact 15 of those sustainable development goals. And I'm proud to say that the, SD, the first SDG awards were just announced last week, and Aero Farms won the zero hunger category. Really? I mean, that's an testament to all the work that you've been doing. I mean, how, how long have Aero Farms been established? I co-founded the company in 2011, and one of my co-founders has been at it since 2004. Well, we appreciate the work that you're doing to make the world a better place. David, are there any last things about where people can find more information about Aero Farms? Certainly on our website at aerofarms.com. For those who live in the New Jersey, New York area, you could buy our product. It's sold under a brand, Dream Greens, at ShopRite's Whole Foods, Fresh Direct, and various super, other supermarkets and, and uh, food restaurants. David Rothberg, thank you so much for being a real leader. And folks, uh, you can go online, visit Aero Farms, and see how they are making an incredible impact on this world before it's too late. David, thank you for your time today. My pleasure. Good. All right. All right. David, appreciate <laughs> Good job. Yeah, cool.